I have a math question for you. What happens when you take a teenager, give them millions of social media followers, get them rich, give them a YouTube channel, and then make two of them date? That's correct, you get a terrible Valentine's Day video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm happy you could join me. I want to be clear right off the bat, this is not going to be a video where I make fun of teenagers. I don't like making fun of people in general, especially people younger than me, because that's asshole behavior. But since you've read the title, you know that I think the very public relationship between these two TikTok celebrities might be sending a bad message to their fans. Noah Beck and Dixie D'Amelio are two massive stars who make content about themselves. That means their relationship becomes part of their content, which means they have to sell it just like everything else about them. And you know what? That's kind of heartbreaking. Like, seriously, that sounds awful. When people vlog about themselves, they're essentially turning their personalities into content for others. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. People have done it before and it's come across as authentic. But there's always a risk that you end up altering your real life for social media. Can you imagine being in a relationship and having to sit down with your partner and plan a video together that shows millions of kids that you two are happy together? Or maybe these two didn't even do that and are just going along with what their managers signed them up for. I, I don't know which one is worse. But either way, I want to watch this Valentine's Day video that they produced and see the extent of how far they went to sell this. Tomorrow is the start of Dixie and I's Valentine's Day weekend. I have some cute things planned for us and I'm really excited to get them going. She has no idea any of this is happening. Also, Louis Vuitton kind of like spoiled us a little. As you can see, the NB and the DD on the handle. I'm so excited. Okay, can you imagine if your relationship had a sponsorship? Like somebody at Louis Vuitton decided to send these kids a custom bag with their initials. They're teenagers. Like a whole ass company is putting stock in these two dating. It's like when companies sponsor race cars and the cars are just littered with brand logos. Like, that's what they're doing to a relationship with two human people. That isn't normal. Well, at this point, it, it might be normal, but it shouldn't be. Do you think, by chance, that having a faceless corporation sponsor your social media relationship might do some developmental harm to someone who's 19? Who's to say? But yes, yes it does. How could it not? So then they go on a helicopter ride around LA. It's cute, I guess, but it also feels a little tone deaf. Los Angeles sure looks nice from this far away because you can't even see the people struggling to survive. But that's not rich people content, so let's go back. What's up guys? All right, so we just landed. We are now in a taxi on the way to our hotel. Super excited, we're gonna start doing activities. We got some stuff planned out for today. Nap time. Are you excited? Yeah. All she wants to do is nap. No, I She loves a good nap. We'll have fun, memories. Now, it's not my job to psychoanalyze these two. I'm not their therapist. But there is some clear body language here that suggests that maybe they don't want to be doing this. But taking mental health days won't get you on the trending page. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Oh, hey. Let's see what we got out here. The yeah, outside's okay. So about you, baby. Hey, again. Uh, here, you know, aww. Try to imagine this from her perspective. Imagine sitting on a bed and watching your partner walk around your hotel with a camera. At what point does social media become such a part of your relationship that it's dependent on it? Yeah, she's tired. So am I though. Oh my god, I could do that trend right now. <laughs> she's so nervous. Look at her. Oh, she's shaking like a chihuahua. She's like a little chihuahua right now. Noah Beck, or whoever edits your videos, please learn some audio mixing. 
I think that edit just blew out the speakers on my laptop. You owe me a laptop, dick. Aw, how romantic. Maskless dining on a pitch black beach. It's dangerous and scenic. Okay, that one was really just me being bitter. I haven't been to a restaurant in five months and I miss the beach. If only I were famous, then I could ignore safety rules. Oh well. We were on the way to uh, like a private beach to go get a cabana and kind of hang out for the rest of the day, like on the ocean. And we were just gonna hang out, sit, and just relax, you know? But then Dixie here, she said her batteries. Social battery. What? Social battery. Her social battery's dead. One hour and seven minutes since I've been sitting here. We're still in the same spot. She's just too precious, I don't want to move her. But my back is killing me and my butt is like getting that like tingly feeling when you've been sitting for too long. I really want to get up and move, but she just looks so cute. Okay, I, I have been in Dixie's shoes here before. I used to go to parties, hang out for like three hours, and then all of a sudden like be ready to go home. Like it's a social battery thing, like they said. The issue is that Noah here is talking about it to the camera like it's an inconvenience, and the comment section is picking up on it. But don't worry, we will get to the comments in a second. They're insane. You'll see. Dixie and I are now cruising around in the golf cart on the island. And kind of funny, okay, so you have to be 25 to rent a go-kart to drive around um, on the island. So some random wonderful lady, very nice, came up to us and was like, hey, like, I know you guys are from TikTok, and I know you guys aren't 25, so I have a golf cart right around the corner. Here are the keys, just go for a cruise, have fun. What a queen. But yeah, she was like, I know this place can be boring if you don't know the cool spots, so go find them. All right, I have seen enough golf cart incidents in my day to know that those rules exist for a reason. That lady who rented a golf cart for two unsupervised 19-year-olds just because they got famous for dancing? You shouldn't be renting golf carts to teenagers you don't know. That's my politics. We're slowly getting all packed up. The ferry slash boat leaves in about 45 minutes, so we're just getting ready. And then we're gonna head down, maybe grab some breakfast before. Oh, Dixie, come say hi. Say hi from there. Wow, and just like that, it's over. Valentine's Day is fueled by couples showing off. I completely understand why these two thought they needed to make a video, but this was so low energy, I can't help but feel like maybe it would have been better if they didn't post anything. Especially after reading all of the comments on this video. Get ready for some hardcore bitching. Noah is such a beautiful boyfriend. He makes everything to make her happy. She is so luckily Noah. I don't know, from my point of view, she doesn't seem to be enjoying herself or seem all that grateful, which is sad. It could be different off camera, but that's just the way it looks. I feel so bad for Noah. Dixie looks like she doesn't want to be there and looks bored. I love how Noah loved Dixie and treated her like a I can't like wait for him to have a GF who appreciates Dixie everything he does seem and how he treats much her. As He's Noah a king, was, period. He Imagine her. making a video with he your girlfriend who doesn't even TBH. talk. She Dixie also looks tired as fuck. I was I'm sorry, Dixie but Dixie didn't even try to dress to up so happy. little. I love both of them. Dixie looks unappreciative. The like, look how she's dressing when she's going out. Maybe then she'll only one joy is effort in the relationship. A A, least Noah cares. Dixie literally couldn't give a F. Dixie needs to be more warning. Noah Jesus books this is all way, for her, and truth, all she can do is dress in hoodies God so loved and ask to go to that sleep him whilst and she is in a helicopter ride. For our Nothing sake, genuinely that whoever surprises him her should not perish, she but have eternal all life. Money. Only people who didn't come from TikTok can like. All right, well that's enough for me. These comments are just slandering a teenage girl for being tired during a vacation vlog, when maybe, just maybe, Noah should have communicated with her to see that she's not up for filming anything for Valentine's Day. But no, Noah Beck is a perfect boyfriend. He's really good at spending money. I don't know, relationships are tricky enough without churning content out of them. And joking aside, I do think either Noah should have checked in with Dixie more, or Dixie should have been more honest with Noah about how she was feeling. Or this entire thing could have been fake. I wouldn't know. YouTubers can just do that, I guess. But either way, I do think we need to reevaluate the couple's content we, as a platform, choose to highlight. Because the platform itself seems to be sucking this trend off and we're not gonna get anywhere with that. If I had to say something positive, 
I think this video does encourage doing generous acts towards your loved ones. Noah Beck might be doing it for views and not doing what Dixie wants, but hopefully the millions of children watching him are learning that celebrating the person you're with is good. Additionally, maybe they'll start learning to read visual body clues that someone is tired. Let's hope. Thank you for watching my video, I appreciate you doing that. I'll leave some other video suggestions on the screen, and here are my social medias if you want to see more of me. I hope you're staying safe and healthy, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Go make me proud. I love you lots. Goodbye.